Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Gravity Ace devlog. Uh, before we get into it, I want to thank everybody who's been watching this video series. It started out as an experiment just to see if anyone was even interested in a boring old devlog from yet another indie game developer. Well, to my surprise and delight, you guys exist. Not only that, the comments you folks have been leaving are lovely. I really do appreciate every single one of you. Uh, I started these in December. As I write this, it is January 24th, 2020. I have 333 YouTube subscribers and growing fast. It's been a huge success, and I intend to keep going as long as I can. So I've been getting some interesting questions, so I thought I'd use this devlog to answer a few of them here. Uh, Digital Kai asks if using Integrate Forces had a high performance cost. Uh, you can substitute anything you like for that. Maybe you're wondering about process or physics process or some other code in your game. Or maybe you have doubts about GDScript. Uh, the short answer is no. GDScript is fantastic and the engine does most of the work anyway. Uh, and it's written in highly optimized C++ already. If you're concerned about performance, or you notice that you have an actual performance issue, uh, take a look at Godot's built-in profiler. It'll show you if you have a problem. So uh, let's look at the game running for a bit, and first we'll look at the Monitors tab. We'll turn on a few monitors, start the game, and as you can see, uh, the frames per second is very high, uh, process is taking almost zero time, physics process is taking even less, it's virtually nothing. Almost nothing is happening here. The game performance is fine. Uh, this is on a 2011 Intel i5 2500K and a GTX 1060. Uh, that is old and mid-range at best hardware. So now let's look at the profile tab. I'll switch over to the profile tab, start the profiler, and what you're seeing here, we'll let the game run for a little bit. This red line here is going to be our baseline. That's the physics frame time, which is locked at 60 frames per second. That's the slowest interval in the game. You can see the real frame time is ridiculously small. So you can see uh, that I'm using a tiny amount of my 60 frames per second budget. All of the physics 2D stuff is a tiny, using a tiny percentage. All of the callbacks are tiny. All of my own script functions themselves are just not using any time at all. As long as all this code is under that 60 frames per second ceiling, uh, the game will run fine. So when you have this much headroom, there's basically no need to waste time optimizing. Here's my process for writing code. I make it work, make it right, make it fast. In that order. Make it work means just get it working. Uh, be sloppy, be wild, copy and paste. It doesn't matter, just get it working. Then, once it's working, make it right. Clean it up, organize the code, restructure it so it's easy to understand, easy to maintain. Uh, finally, and only if you need to, optimize it. Make it fast. And I often just skip that step because I don't need to. Now, your game is not my game. It could be that your game requires some highly optimized algorithms. If that's the case, the profiler is your best friend. Martin asked uh, how I learned to create such good pixel art. Thank you very much for the compliment, Martin. I really appreciate it. Uh, so this just comes down to hard work and practice. I'm sorry for the bad news. Um, I picked up drawing as a hobby in 2010, uh, and I've been teaching myself since then. I'm not very rigorous about it. I don't spend a huge amount of time on it. Uh, but over 10 years, I guess it adds up, and I can draw okay now. Uh, how quickly you improve will depend on how well you practice and how often you practice. Uh, I've been doing pixel art for two years almost daily uh, as I've been developing this game. I don't have any magic advice about how to get better, it's just you've got to practice. Uh, you also have to sort of let go of the idea that you can draw something nice on the first try. This took me a long time to understand. Uh, drawing for me is always a struggle. My first drawing is going to be garbage. And I don't mean just that one drawing. I mean every first drawing I do forever is going to be garbage. My first sketch always sucks, just like my first draft when I'm writing something. But I keep working on it. I keep refining it. I erase it and draw it again and again. And maybe by the fifth time I find something that I like. It's just pixels, so you can't be afraid to erase it and start over. 
I promise you, it'll be better the next time you draw it. I can't tell you how many times I've redrawn everything in this game, and I know that if I just picked something at random and redrew it, I'd like that next version better. That's all I have time for today, uh, but please ask if you have any questions or you want me to explain how I do something. I'm happy to answer and help you out. Uh, plus, it helps me create content for new videos, so it's a win-win. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this or one of my other videos. Also, please help spread the word. Tell a friend. Post a link on your Twitter or Facebook about Gravity Ace. Every little bit helps, and I truly and sincerely appreciate it. You may have also noticed the new background music. Uh, it's a new track I wrote for Gravity Ace. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and see you next time.